can you get single signal reception in a regenerative receiver? It's widely thought that you can't. This video is a demonstration of a regenerative receiver that does in fact give a form of single signal reception. The regeneration is so fine that you can adjust it so that it's effective on one side of a CW signal and not the other side. As a result, when you tune across it, you'll hear normal morse on one side and just raspy keying on the other, as if you're hearing a CW signal on an AM receiver. The gain is also a bit less, indicating that if there was an interfering signal just above the frequency to which you're tuned, there would be some rejection of it. In other words, somewhere on the road towards a single signal receiver. Here, we're tuning a signal in the CW end of 7 MHz. Just as we pass zero beat, the receiver runs out of puff. The regeneration is also extremely smooth. Although right at the end, there is a rather nasty howl. But there's a lot of movement where it's only gently oscillating, which is at the point where you want to be receiving signals. Regen receivers have the reputation of being a two-handed affair. If you adjust the regeneration control, you'll drift off frequency, so you need to touch up with the tuning control. That's also true if you've got an RF gain control, which this receiver doesn't have. Again, you'll get some frequency pulling. In contrast, with this receiver, the frequency stays stable when you adjust the regen control. I should point out this is a very unusual regenerative receiver. There are no tuned circuits at all. The only frequency determining element is a ceramic resonator for 7.160 MHz. With the tuning capacitor you see here in series with the resonator, it tunes quite a wide range from 7 to 7.120, making it an ideal receiver for mainly CW reception. The frequency stability is excellent and it's easy to build with no coils to wind. It's what they would call a 1v1 receiver in old valve parlance. That is a one valve RF preamp, a one valve oscillating detector and a one valve audio amplifier. Though in this case we're using BC548 transistors for all of them. Its three transistors comfortably drive this crystal earpiece. Although, instead of the last transistor, you could substitute something like an LM386 and drive a small speaker. Another nice feature is you can tune across the whole CW segment and not need to reset the region control. It handles like a direct conversion receiver with excellent frequency stability, thanks to the ceramic resonator. The receiver was inspired by a set by F5 LVG. It appears in Sprat twice, issue number 158 and the latest issue number 165. You can also get the circuit on his website, which is via the link below.
I pretty much copied F5 LVG circuit, except instead of the tuned circuit, I put in a ceramic resonator for 7.160 MHz. In conjunction with the capacitor values you see, that can provide a coverage of 7.000 to 7.120 MHz. Although that will vary with the tuning capacitor you're using, in my case it's about 5 to 50 picofarads, as well as the capacitors in the culprit's oscillator. In his circuit, both 100 picofarad. I use slightly lower values for the capacitor between emitter and ground. Having a quick look at the circuit, on the extreme left is the antenna, not marked but it goes to the free end of the 22 picofarad. The first transistor is an RF amp, then we've got the ceramic resonator instead of the tuned circuit. Anyway, the transistor in the middle is the oscillating detector, and then the transistor on the far right is the audio amplifier. As a starting point, I suggest building the exact circuit that F5 LVG has on his website or in Sprat. Then add the ceramic resonator. I used a three-legged ceramic resonator, though I don't see why a two-legged one would also not work. You might be puzzled about the circuitry below. That's currently an experiment. It's a buffer amplifier. Maybe it will work with a future transmitter. This has been an amazing regenerative receiver project. It's simple with just three transistors, yet has many sought-after benefits. Things like great frequency stability, smooth regeneration without frequency pulling, the absence of any tuned circuits or coils to wind, and the possibility of making it into a transceiver. I'd highly recommend it as a project and suggest you start with the F5 LVG design and then, when you're happy with that, substituting a ceramic resonator. There's also no reason why you couldn't try it as a multi-band receiver, putting in a 3.58 MHz or 3.68 MHz ceramic resonator to cover a slice of 80 meters as well. If you want to maximize your QRP operating success, don't go past minimum QRP. It's a Kindle ebook available for under $5 US. To find out more, visit vk3ye.com and visit the link, or go to Amazon and search minimum QRP. Oscillating regenerative receivers have some other effects as well.